Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Wait. So now we are in the, I think, third day. The numbers seem to change on a daily basis now. And yeah, the numbers are definitely counting down. So before we eat our crappy salad, however, let's check out the bookshelf. Third idol has been placed on my shelf somehow. And we also unlocked a book, I think. My bookcase. I don't, you know, I'm not sure if I looked at some of them. Yeah, remember it said, um, I, yeah, this one. I wrote that story changed. One of the books changed in the bookcase, and it was this one, I think. He was no fool. He knew exactly what was going on. Without even a flinch, he solved the riddle on the very first try, almost as if he had created it himself. Huh, that's cool. And I don't think anything else is unlocked. Yeah, because you... I think you need to unlock the achievements to unlock the books, and the only achievement I got so far was that one. Uh, let's read the journal. Another entry, read it. November 29, 1965. I got it. The Gathering. Five idols. I was wrong the whole time. Five idols with six attendees. The idols represent the first five. But who is the sixth? Probably nobody good. Uh, and also, let's check out the boards. General boards. Someone wrote something new. Every culture had its own numerical symbology. But the number seven, for example, usually always has the same meaning. It stands for the divine, greater purpose, the big picture, completeness, the macrocosm. It is often explained from different angles, but the meaning is always the same. Well, L85, thank you, but that doesn't really help out a whole lot. Hmm. The mac macrocosm. Algebra board, anything new? No, nothing new. On the algebra board? Definitely. Knew that one. Mystery board. I wonder if that guy from yesterday already answered. Yeah, there was that one guy that was... Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Maybe I can write him a private message. What? The user has been deleted. Oh, no, that sucks. Weird. Mails. I got a mail. Greetings, Seth. Maybe you should pipe down a bit with your research. The, your, the other colleagues are already talking about you. Digging on and all that occult stuff is not good for your image. I mean, come on, we live in a modern society. It's 1996. You have to realize that. People shouldn't believe in ghost stories and ancient rituals anymore. Sincerely, Greg Portman. I'm assuming that's not directed at me either. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that mail was meant for me, and especially if it's since 1996. Yeah. So definitely it wasn't for us. Let's eat our crappy salad and then go to bed, I guess. I don't think we have anything else to do. Maybe I sh Were those books there? Those purple books? Alright, I'll, fi I'll find out soon. Let me eat. We should still eat. I mean, yeah, we are haunted, but we have to eat. And the mystery is nowhere to be solved yet, I guess. I'm done eating. Clean it up. Let's put those in the dishwasher or the sink. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now let's check out those books. Because I don't think they were there. Wait, what? where's my... Ugh. What's the point of wondering? Some old looking books. Apparently they're about rituals in different cultures. I will have a look. Anything interesting? No? Hmm. Each of them has a bookmark on a page where a certain ritual is described. Although each book covers a different culture, the ritual book looks the same. I can't really read what they say, but there are similar drawings and symbols. It kind of looks like a council. That's... okay. Let's water the plant. This isn't my plant. But it looks dry. I should water it anyway. Yeah, but that doesn't concern you in the slightest? Okay. Good enough, let's go to bed. What's this? A tape recorder? There are these creatures. Yes, ancient beings, rather. Five of them. Other than mankind itself. And then there is a ritual where all five of them participate. Beforehand, the beings are represented by idols. Small versions of them, made of stone. Apparently, the idols are necessary for the ritual to function properly. Some say the ritual even has six members, but I haven't found reliable proof about that. Tomorrow, I will visit the library again. Maybe I can find out a bit more. 
I hate that place. If it's the place that you're talking about, the hallway that we ran into, yes, I understand why you would hate that place. Go to bed, yes. Let's trigger the night. And let's see what happens. Probably nothing good. Anything changing? Maybe not. Huh. But it started at 3. Didn't it? So it's only 3 a.m.? Doesn't seem like 3 a.m. Is it morning? Did I really sleep through the night? I don't think you did. That's great, I guess. Well, alright, I should get up. Or maybe we did, I don't know. Well, I guess we did. Hmm. Strange. Okay. Oh, wait, where's my fridge? Oh, my fridge is gone. And... Oh. Oh, no. Yes! Let's save our progress. <laughs> and my fridge is gone. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. What is this place? What is this? Is this how the apartment used to look? Oh, we're in the past. Nice. Now, if I had these variables, maybe that wasn't enough. Erase it, curse this. It's always been about the idols. 3, 5, 4, 5, 3, 4, divided by X should be... I don't know. I don't know what X is, so... Can't help you there, buddy. Almost all the drawers are empty. There are just a few pieces of clothing inside. Until the, someone has tried to solve some kind of equation. But apparently it took a multiple attempts. But one equation has been underlined twice. AC squared time X times Z question mark N plus I minus A squared equals. I have no clue. Hmm, it hasn't been solved. I probably would not be able to solve that even if it took me my entire life. And that's kind of sad, isn't it? There's a gun in the drawer. It's out of ammo. Should I take it anyways? Why not? <laughs> I'll put it in my jacket pocket. <laughs> I mean, a, a gun's a gun. In a horror game it might actually be useful, or it might turn out to be very bad. Just some scissors. Okay. Anything in the fridge? The fridge that's been stolen from me? It won't open its jam, so... <laughs> well, that sucks. Oh. These numbers. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. The professor. I found it. This must be it. Huh. Most of these books are nouns. No factual books whatsoever. Obviously a more simple tenant than the professor was. Oh, uh, so this is the... Uh, second tenant, I guess. The TV looks quite outdated. Maybe from the 80s. Looks just like my oil lamp. It's not yours, dude. Come on. This seems to be the same chalkboard, but the equation has been solved. This apartment is definitely more modern than the previous one. Did the successor finish the equation? I wonder if it reflected on the past then. Like, in Professor's apartment, some pretty flowers. What about here? Some pajamas, some underwear, obviously a woman's dresser. Huh, what's this? A pack of ammunition. This seems totally out of place. There's only one bullet left. How did this get here? Since I already took the gun, I might as well take this bullet. I'll just load the gun with it, you never know. Oh, no, wait, a gun and a single bullet? Yeah, I don't think we're doing... Going towards a good ending. What a nice bed. It's been neatly made, and it doesn't have a single crease. What? The equation is solved. The ritual was sabotaged. What creatures dwell? The future will fix this. Will they? Will it? Huh. Oh, wait, was that ever from? Was this book here before? It's the professor's diary. August 19... 9 August 1966. My equation has been solved. I still can't believe it. One day, the answer was written on the board. This might sound crazy, but I witnessed a strange distortion right in my apartment. I believe time and space may be bent within these four walls. I'm beginning to think that a successor might have finished the formula. Yes, I'm talking about a future tenant. I have found strange devices in my apartment of late. They look as described in one of those cheap science fiction books. Did I pull future generations into this matter? You did. 23 September 1996. 1966, my... <laughs> That's it, I can't continue, they're after me. But someone has to attend the ritual. Someone has to. I will write the numbers where the distortion is the strongest. Maybe future generations will see them. I don't want to pull them into this anymore. But they have to understand. 5676. Six. And I'm still left with more questions than answers. Hey, who's there? Huh. 
Wait, hold on, is it? Yeah, the equation is here is solved as solved now as well. Oh, doors open. Will this lead to another apartment? Also, was this here before? I don't know. Oh, creepy ass hallway. It appears to be bottomless. Okay. Well, this seems relatively nice. The apartment. With a very bloody bathroom. Huh. Well, this looks like a familiar restroom. It didn't look very familiar 10 seconds ago, buddy. What is this? It's all mirrored. What? Phew. Okay, I'll just have to accept it. Let's see, it could be the professor's apartment with all these books. I'll have a look around. Hmm. Mr. Rohr closed the metallic suitcase. His offer was accepted as always. His clients knew he was evil, and Mr. Rohr knew his money would silence their bad conscience. Seems to be some sort of story, although the book has no title. Of course there's more, but this particular passage somehow met my eye. What about here? So many books, some very old. I wish I knew which one... Which one I would have to read to understand what's happening here. Here is the same book in multiple languages. This is quite a collection. But if I'm not mistaken, these are all professor's bookcases. Which means they are probably not for collection purposes. For many years now, the Blackstone Manor has been abandoned. After a young film director and his team disappeared in the midst of a shoot, the Blackstone Manor was said to be haunted by the people of the nearby town of Dunwich. Oh, that's a... Um, if you don't know, that's actually a famous H.P. Lovecraft story, Dunwich Horror. Yeah. There's actually a game that is inspired by Tales from Dunwich. I actually played this on the channel as well. A bottle of wine, sunglasses, which, are, which is recklessly placed on the edge of the surface. There's also a drawer. Can't open it. It's jammed somehow. I don't see a lock or anything. Huh. Should I switch it on? Yes! It doesn't work. Oh, that sucks. Hey, there's a book there. I think there's something behind the dresser, but I can't tell with these lighting conditions. Of course. There's some piece of paper here. If I had more light, I could read it. Obviously the chalkboard. I can't really read any of it without some more light. So we need lights. Okay. That's good to know. Brick wall, well, the door should be. I wonder if I can open that somehow. The water's not working. I can't see if there's anything inside. Okay. So, alright, we need to... There's no breaker box there, though. How do we get the power back on? Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Can I go out somewhere? Did anything change, perhaps? Oh. Wait a minute, this is not where I came from. What is going on? Yeah, wow, changed. A huge hole is tearing up the wall. This is where the laboratory should be. Can't see anything more in this darkness. Okay. Is that something that I should note, perhaps? Oh, the breaker box is over there. Hang on. I can turn the power back on from here, probably. I know this breaker box. Let's see here. I see. The power's out. Should I switch it back on? Yeah. Please do, dude. Well, that already did something. That's nice. Hey, can I use my fridge here? It doesn't have a handle. Like, I wouldn't know how to open it. Oh. Uh, the water is working. Should I let it run? Yeah, why not? Let's mess up this apartment. I... So wait, if that's mirrored over there, I wonder if it's gonna flood the sink or something like that. But why would I want to do that? It is a letter. Dear Mr. Riley, I unfortunately we cannot comply with your request. The information you asked for is classified and we must ask you to drop your investigations regarding our institution. Best regards, S. Johansson. So, wow, Riley was getting into something bad. So, can I... A box is standing in front of the nightstand. It's filled with books, which makes it quite heavy. Hmm, the box is blocking access to the drawer. I could move it aside and move the box. That should work. I can now open the drawer. It's empty, though. Oh, wait, I wonder if, uh... If I can open the drawer now or there. There's a horrible stench coming from that wardrobe. Phew, what is that? Should I open it? I think this might get us killed. But, yeah, why not? Oh, it's locked. Okay. That's good. So, what about now that you have more light? What about this hole? Huge hole. Yeah, I couldn't fit through it, but even if I did, who would crawl through a huge hole in his bathroom? <laughs> That's a reference to Silent Hill 4, I think. Because in Silent Hill 4, you actually... If you don't know... Uh, 
there's actually a hole in the bathroom which takes you to the Silent Hill world and you're locked in the apartment and that's your only way of escape into the Silent Hill world is through that hole. So yeah, I think it's a reference to that. There's something inside that hole. It looks like a little metal box. I need something to reach it. My arm is not long enough. Huh. What would I need? I don't know. I haven't seen anything that could, uh... Um, that could get that box. This is exactly like the same night scent as the one that was blocked by the box. It's just mirrored. I wonder if... Yes, I can open it. Oh, cool. Nice. A photograph. It shows a young man drinking coffee in the bar down the street. Something has been written, written on it. Uh, the patient. Hmm. The patient. Oh, the music changed. Oh, my head. I have to keep it together. The patient. Was the professor maybe not a scientist, but a doctor of some sort? A psychologist, perhaps? No, that's nonsense. He must be a scientist. But who's this patient, then? It looks like the photo was taken secretly. Strange. Whoa, what? What was that? I don't want to find out just- Oh wait, so it is being flooded now, look. The sink. It's filled with water. Dirt that is jamming the sink slowly starts to soften and is getting washed away. The tap is opened, although it's not running, I better close it. Wait, is that a key stuck in the sink? I have to- Damn it, it's gone. I wonder what it was for. Come on, man. You gotta get on that. But I mean, if it's mirrored, then it would end up on the other side. But before we go to the other side, let me... No, not the windows. Check the note. There's some kind of note. Or maybe a letter. Don't you go and ruin this now. Ruin what? This place is already ruined, man. It's foobard, really. It's the chalkboard where I first saw the film, but it's not written here. Let's see if I can move this. Nope. Oh. Not a chance. Alright, well, let's go to the other side. Maybe I can find the answer over there. It's a mirrored apartment after all. That wasn't there before. You shouldn't be here. This wasn't here before. Yeah, I don't want to be here either, but I am. So deal with it, buddy. I mean, I, I didn't want to be here either. This file cabinet somehow fell over. The backside is dirty and dusty. I can see something behind the dresser. If I had just a bit more light... Oh, wait, hold on. Yes. Okay. So now that will reflect on that side. And now I'll have more light. Or at least I think that's how it works. Yep. I do have more light. Cool. Uh, but before we get that... Hold on. I remember that uh, the key one might be in the sink. Should it be? The water has stopped running, leaving only a small puddle in the sink. Huh. The key is lying in that puddle. This is really messing with my head. I will take it nonetheless, of course. Okay, good. So we got that key. I, I think that might open the um, closet. So let's check this out first. The file cabinet somehow fell over. The backside is very dusty. I can see something behind the dresser. It looks like the back is broken and something is sticking out of it. I should be able to reach it. Is that the same book as the one that's there? It's a book. If I'm not mistaken, it's a professor's diary. This is it. The time has come. I feel that my studies have taken me too far. What was I thinking? It was a fool's errand. The universe has played me to believe I could change anything. Ridiculous. I feel a grim presence placing its hand on my shoulder as I write this. It's not the apartment itself, but rather what was hap what has been happening here. The past is present. Present is the future. What difference does it make? I have been tricked into madness. And I will drown in it, like a child that has not been yet learned how to swim. Well, that's kind of grim. So, what ha I wonder what happened to the professor. I'm kind of curious... I'm kind of curious on what the hell that was. I wonder if it has something to do with this patient. Possibly. Yeah, let's open this. Yes. It's locked. Maybe the key I found in the sink will work. I did it. Well then, let's see what's inside. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was gonna die! <laughs> when I saw red flashing into my face, I thought like, Yep, that's it, I'm dead. There's nothing inside except my old broom. Furthermore, it's exceptionally clean inside. But where's that smell coming from then? I'm not even sure if it's originating from here. <coughs> I wonder if I can get the broom. Hmm, 
maybe I, hey, maybe I can use this broom to reach that metal box. So yeah, let's see what that box is all about. Okay, if I lean in a bit, I can reach the box with the broom. Alright, I got it. Let's see what's inside. Huh, it's a disk. Folsom program, security protocol E. An old floppy disk from my company. How did it get here? It looks quite important. Hmm. I never heard of that program. Maybe I should take it with me. But how would I view it? I think I would need my laptop, which doesn't work in this world, does it? Well, okay, let's... You weren't there before. At this door, should I go through it? Hang on, stay a second. Um, let me check out if there's anything, like, new here. No, that brick wall is still there. So that kind of sucks. Okay, well, nothing has changed in, the, in that side of the apartment. So let's go through it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I would like to say my progress. Definitely could. This can't be. It's a cage. A cage for me alone. Me? Or somebody else? Please tell me somebody else. This board is completely filled with mathematical formulas and calculations. There are even calculations written vertically across the edges. There's just a jacket in here. It looks a bit dusty and has a pen in the breast pocket. What is this place? I thought I was safe here. Untouchable. What does he want? What do I want? I want to get the hell out of here, to be honest. If, you know, that makes any sense. All my efforts were pointless. It didn't make a difference. Pretty dark in here. Uh, yeah, it is. At least there's a power plug in this room. Huh, do I need a lamp, perhaps? There's a crack in the wall. I think I can see a faint light shimmering through it, but I'm not sure. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's see, what else should we- ooh. Oh, can I use the floppy disk here? The board is completely empty, it's also a bit faded and has spider webs all over. As if it hasn't been used for a long time. Hmm. It's not real. He created me. I was made for a purpose, that's all. I'm not human. This computer is switched off, I can't see a power button or anything. There is, however, a USB port. I don't think my floppy disk will go into the USB port, so... Well, that sucks. Okay. A folder named Pictures is open, I can't seem to close it. Every picture has a date for a name. If I right-click them, all I can do is transfer. What picture should I open? I don't think I have anything to transfer them into. Huh. Okay, I don't know what to do with these. Oh, hang on, back, back. Escape. Let's see what this is about. The second computer. There are four sound files in the folder named Sounds. I can't close the folder to do anything else. Transfer, yeah, same thing. Huh. Huh. Huh, I think I know, I kinda understand what to do. Hang on, let me see. What is this one? Texts. All I can do is transfer, yeah, same thing. Caught one. If my calculations are correct, I'll wish my goal in less than a month. A minor variance is something I can't tolerate. She's so pretty. This is what I studied all my life. I can feel it. Huh. I think I understand what to do with this one. Nobody likes it, I guess. But yeah, I think that's- I have to transfer a nice memory to him. A massive iron door. Oh, is that the professor? Professor? Stay where you are. You can't come in, it's too dangerous. I'm safe in here, nothing can harm me in here. Something has happened to him. It feels like he surrendered to his depression. Maybe I can help him somehow. I'm guessing that would be one of ways to help him. I'm guessing there are more. It appears to be a conversation. There are two different handwritings. One in the upper left corner and the other in the lower right. If this reaches you, I thank you kindly. Who are you? I don't understand. My name is Emily. Please help me. Emily? Oh yeah, so she's new. Whoa. What is this? It's all my fault. I started this dilemma. It was a chain reaction, and now my successors have to pay for it. He thinks he's to blame for all of this. Maybe I can prove him wrong somehow. I don't know if I'll be able to, but alright. Okay, so let's go down to that dark... Uh, basement thing. 
Stairs le are leading down into darkness. Huh, that sounded really cheesy. Should I go down? Yeah, let's go down. I don't think this is a good idea, but whatever. Uh, whoa, what the hell is that thing? What is that thing? It looks like some sort of mutant. Okay, well, I want to get away from that. Uh, let's go over here. <coughs> what is this place? A small lamp, which seems to be alright on the first glance. It has a bulb and calls it quartz rock. Should I take it with me? Oh yeah, take it. Because I might need that. What do we have here? Huh, an abacus. And a familiar one it is. I can take it with me. Take it. I'd rather have a free hand left. Oh, really? Oh, I, I had to, uh... Drop the light bulb. Lights. Okay, well, that sucks. What is this? A diploma to Nathan Riley, Bachelor of Science, 1954. Interesting, why is this here? I wonder if I should take it with me. Yeah, take it. Oh, I can't take that, apparently. Well, that's good. Um, anything else I should get? Small cardboard box, empty, but something was written on the bottom. What does it even mean to be human? An old couch covered with webs and dust, not where I want to sit. I would not either. So, okay, there's nothing to do over here. Hey, can I... I'm guessing I can easily hide from that thing in the corners. Uh, box looks familiar somehow. Hey, there's a... No, wait. It's just an empty cardboard box. Strange. I could, I could have sworn I saw an idol here. Silence is humanity. I can't open it. I'm reading fast because, you know, monster might come in here. Uh, here's a drawer with cables. There's a small box here with lots of USB and sticks inside. Oh! Yeah, get it, get it. Yeah, yeah, get it. Get the... Um... Hey, is that thing... Here? Oh! He, he is here. Yep. Where are you gonna go, buddy? And I can't, this guy can't run, so, like, if he chases them, you're pretty much... Screwed. Up the bunk hole. So, okay, come on, buddy. Don't know what to do with the diploma. I do know what to do with the light bulb. And also, let's see what room, what's in the room that he was in. Anything? Canned food. So many random things. Some pencils. Candle. Oh, diary. Oh. I think this is the whole diary from start to finish. What should I do? Read it. I'm starting to I've achieved great things in my life. My offer, I would never think by he meant. Okay, so I will finally get my degree. While I would love to read all of this, I'm just gonna skim through it. Guys, feel free to pause to read the whole thing, because, you know, there's a monster roaming the hallways. And, he, you know, if he comes behind me to kill me while I'm reading this, it might be bad. And some of this is actually familiar. And very long. Oh yeah, reading this would be a mistake while that thing is roaming the, you know. Hallway. Huh. I am kind of skimming through it though, because this might actually be important. Okay, five, six, seven, six. I that man. I read that part. Yeah, I remember reading that part in the. That's why we have a light bulb, lamp. Yeah, whatever. Words are tough at the moment when there's horror to be discovered. Should I try to kick it open? I guess. Go for it. And that should reflect light in that room, I guess? To bring light and meaning to a dark and useless room. I think I understand. Even the smallest things can improve to have a purpose in the midst of nothingness. Oh, is that... Does that, like, make him less depressed? Should I crawl through the hole? Yeah, why not? Do it. All my steps are not my own. I'm just a puppet to a, a living tube. And I'm guessing I have to match the um, picture of him relaxing with the sound that he's relaxing and with the thought that he's relaxing. And which one was... Yeah, this one. Transfer that one. Because everything else is pretty much the same. He's studying, he's writing, and he was also reading. I mean, those are pretty similar aspects. This is the only different one. Which one was the whistling one? Was it that one? No, it's not. Not back. This one. Yeah. This one sounds like he's relaxing. And the thought was the third one, I think. She's so pretty. Yeah, transfer that one. Okay, now let's plug this in here. 
try and insert the USB stick that I found. Yes, do it. You are right. I have not only acted on functions. Of course, I am human. Created beings would not waste a time like that. I did. Oh, the whole room vanished. Did I rid, rid him of his doubts? I guess I did. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna get that abacus now since my hands are, well, not totally free, but at least I used the lamp. Abacus that was here. Yeah, yeah. Take it. Cool. So now we have to juke that thing. Okay, okay yeah. so now let's try the abacus. Maybe it might bring him out of his uh, misery. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You're a puppet. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, put the abacus. Let's see if he likes the abacus. Hey, Mr. Puppet, do you see the abacus? No? Are you gonna go to it? Oh, you are. Ah, yes, Math. My very first love and my drive to do what I did. Of course, I met a puppet. Math is what drew me and nothing else. <sighs> Yay! That's that's great. <laughs> I think. I think I got one. Huh. I wonder what to do with this diploma. Do I give it to him? Or wait, hold on. There was one room where it said I had to get rid of his doubts, which was that had chains all over. Can I do anything with that? Can I? Uh, let me investigate that room again. Can I interact with anything in there? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I we can prove him wrong. Um, anything? Wait, what? The word gathered is inscribed in the padlock. The padlock is like key inside. What should I do? Hang on. Oh, the padlocks. Okay, okay, I can interact with them. Accident. Okay, what about this one? Can I interact with this? Yeah. Oh, hang on. I think this is describing his life. And I would have... <laughs> if... If... I was able to read the whole thing, I'm sure I would know what to do here. But hang on, hang on. Let's see. I'm sure... Real location. No. I'm assuming I have to... Go through his timeline. Graduate. He graduated. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Open the lock. That worked. And then... I think he saw an accident, I remember skimming through that. He saw an accident, then he had an idea about being able to prevent these types of things. Being able to prevent fate. Uh, the word enlightenment. Yeah, that would work, right? He had an idea, he was enlightened. But, uh, no, he didn't drown. He definitely didn't gather, nor did he relocate just yet. What is this one? Ambition. Yeah, he had an ambition. Open the lock. Then he relocated. Right? Yeah, he did. And then he gathered all the idols. Right. Okay, so I'm going- I'm doing good so far. We have three left. What's this one? Megalomania. Not, no, what's this? What was this one? Intervention. He drowned in his megalomania. So those two should be last. I'm guessing it has to be intervention then. This one. There was... He tried to intervene with the forces of the world and fate. Therefore, that's megalomania. And he drowned in it, and therefore this happened. Now we are in this fucking weird Sun Hill world, and well, I guess you're right. This indeed is my story. It started with me, and it ended with me, and the future had nothing to do with it. Oh, so did that work? Hey, are you. Can I open that door now? I'm guessing that's probably the only thing that's changed. What do I do with this diploma, though? Do I give it to him? It's open. Oh, cool. Hey! Hi, professor! Hi. I thank you. I don't know why or how you helped me out of my madness, but you shouldn't be here. 
Um, you're welcome. I myself don't really know how I got here. I just went through some doors, actually. Interesting. It seems my subconsciousness left an entrance up opportunity in case someone would come and rescue me. I don't understand. I'm... What? <laughs> Sorry. It's just that I haven't talked to someone in a while, and especially not someone presumed to be dead, and... Please calm down. I will explain as best as I can. This place, I like to call it a pocket in existence. I don't know how, but I created it as, as I gave into my madness. You might call it a manifestation of my poisoned mind. It exists out of time and space. It all started when my formula was finished by someone else. I began to think that it had something that was amiss, that maybe I was just used as a pawn in a much bigger game. Many other doubts started to grow inside me as I sank deeper into my paranoia. Am I maybe not real? Did I pull future generations into this mess? Am I a slave? But you helped me get rid of all these fears and to think clearly again. Now I'm sure you have must have many questions. Why me? Excuse me? Why me? That is only my question. What did I do to be stuck in that apartment? I see. So you are stuck in that apartment. I'm really sorry, though I did not start all this. I've always wondered what would happen after I'm gone. You did not start it? No, there was a man before me. He started, well, something in that apartment and apparently he didn't finish it. Then I went there on purpose to finish my studies. I ended up here. Oh, officially you count as disappeared. I still can't dra grasp all this, you're from the 60s, and I'm talking to you, this is insane! Please do not fret. I know this is hard to fathom, but you have to keep going. If you manage to enter this place, I know you can achieve other things as well. But still, why me? I'm afraid all I can say is, you just had bad luck, good sir. <laughs> but I can tell you all I know, and then maybe you can get to the bottom of it and... No! I don't care for such things, don't you see? I just wanted to end it! I'm not a scientist, or a cultist, or such. I just want to leave this place. That place. I understand. I'm afraid I can't help you leave the apartment. But I can help you leave this place here. Take it as a gift for bringing me closure. Thank you. I have to prepare a ritual, then. Please wait outside. A ritual? I don't understand. Leaving this place takes a little bit more than just a door. Please. Well, alright. Oh, uh, well, so... Virtual is not a good idea. I wonder what he's doing. Uh, that... Oh, no. Oh, that sucked. No, Nathan, dude, why? Aw. Uh, he killed himself. Well, I mean, he was kind of dead already, I guess. In a sense. I see. Since we were in a place he created, the only way out for was for him to vanish. Thank you. The library has changed. Who is Riley? Hmm. So what else can I do? Oh, well, that door is closed now. Hey, can I check out the fridge this time, perhaps? No. This fridge is jammed as well. I really want to check out the fridge, what's inside it. But okay, I think that might be it for this part. Yeah. Hmm, I don't think there's anything else I can investigate. I should I hopefully get back to my apartment. I'm guessing my predecessors had problems as well. The professor, he started his research here. He knew about the idols, and he gathered them. Then he tried to create some kind of formula, but he didn't finish it. But a later tenant found it and finished it. But what for? Does it have to do with the ritual? Perhaps. And my apartment looks a bit even creepier. Numbers have counted down once more, and also a bunch of other weird shit has appeared. It's not working. It's a cloudy day. How are they connected to the ritual? Something is written on the wall. Where were you? It might be another one of those distortions, or is it directed to me? Oh look, there's an idol here. Huh, the fourth idol is placed on the shelf now. And it's even more creepy than the other ones. It looks like a bottle opener too. <laughs> what a strange idol this one is. It's like they're all watching me. 
my bookcase. Oh yeah, did we unlock the new book, didn't we? Uh, who is Riley? Everything worked out as calculated. He sat down. He ordered a coffee. The waitress hit her elbow on the counter. He was then supposed to knock over his coffee whilst turning to her. But he stopped. He stopped purposefully. Right next to the cup of coffee, he halted his arm as if he knew. He then turned his head to look out the window and directly into Riley's binoculars. He knew. And he was behind, beyond his calculations. Hmm. So, everything else... Um... I'm guessing that book is only opens when I actually, um... Unlock all this stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I'm kind of sad about missing the first one. It won't put as a broken. Well, that sucks. Because I wanted to check the disc. Huh. Hmm. What should I. What else can I do? I wonder. Five idols, five aspects. It's a part of the contract. Restlessness, isolation, transience, creativity, fear. Five aspects. Aspects of what? What if. Ah, what is this? Probably nothing good. So yeah, that's not good. Definitely not good. <laughs> yeah, ah. Uh, and uh, are we bleeding? Is that like blood? Another dream or did I pass out? I don't think we we're dreaming, buddy. What happened? It's that tape recorder again. The ritual is held every hundred or so years, and humans first erected on this planet that beings decided to observe us rather than just erase us. It's the same voice as last time. After we had reached a certain, well, state of civilization, they decided to let us stay on the condition of our contract. Contract that has to be renewed every now and then. That is what we call the ritual. The beings bestowed five aspects on mankind that made humans inferior to them. Every being chose one aspect that humans will have to live with in exchange for its existence. A human has to be present for the ritual to complete. This has worked well for a few thousand years. The beings would return into hiding and no one would know about it. But something went wrong on the last ritual. I wonder what went wrong. Save the progress! Okay guys, and I'm gonna cut it here. So yeah, exciting so far and I think we're close to the truth. I'm really kind of sad about the f stuff that I missed during the first night, but I mean, it's okay. Uh, if if I had to replay through it to get a different ending, I might. I just might do that depending on some conditions, I guess. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!